So it looks like when you went through your peer conference, your your friend said your story did not have an interesting beginning. And then you go, it has a great beginning. Okay, so so were you confused after your peer conference? Yes. Okay, when that happens, what you can do is go go request another friend, a peer conference with another friend. So did you do that? Yes. Okay, who is your second friend? Ashton. Ashton. Okay. So what did Ashton think of your story after you had a peer conference with him? Did he say that there was a, an interesting beginning? Yes. Okay. Did you use showing sentences? Kind of. Kind of. Okay. So we'll question mark. So that's an area that I will look for. Did you use any figurative language? <coughs> no. Okay. So that's something that you'll need to go back and add in. Um, what did Ashton say that you can do to make your story even better? Not really anything. Okay, so he didn't give any advice. Okay, Lights, Camera, Surviving. Love the title. Okay, Introduction. Now, you know these things, like leave out introduction, body, conclusion, leave those out on That's your final copy. Like that's right, that was just for planning, and that's good for rough drafting, but you'll have to leave it out when it's time. Okay. Crystal, the movie star, was on a tour, and she was heading to New York City. Spell that out, okay? When she was looking for shelter in the mist of light, there was hissing in the background, and then she knew, she knew now, it was a male Snow fox, a male snow fox. It was so adorable but vicious when eating a rabbit or bird. Ooh, I really like how that flows. All of a sudden, we're, we're away from all this other stuff, and we're, we're getting into some really nice flowing writing there. If she could train it, she could use it to hunt. I like this. This is really getting good. Okay. I like your story. It's really good. I like how you took some things from Hatchet and you transferred them to your characters. The beginning is a little bit shaky. shaky. Yeah. If you can do these things, you can describe the plane crash, take out the E's and the O's and all the extra exclamation points. And but she's a movie star. She doesn't know any. Well, but what you do is just do the one onomatopoeia and then use a strong verb to, to describe. So like, ee, she squealed. Remember we talked about strong verbs? And then it's easier to read and you don't have all that funny looking punctuation. In it. So use your strong verbs and your onomatopoeia to get the same point across. Okay.